Good afternoon. How do you feel about Tidal Bay being top weight in the national? Uh, good afternoon, Mike. Uh, yeah, I'm OK with that. Uh, the, the horse uh, has never carried anything other than 10, uh, 11 stone 10, so he knows no difference. So uh, I'm very pleased with that. The, the truth is, though, is the, his handicap mark, I think, is 161, which is probably he's carrying about two pounds less than his what he's carrying the Welsh National. So, you know, um, we're OK with that, 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 that weight. Yeah, I was going to say, he, he, he's, although he's top weight, uh, Graham, the handicap of Phil Smith has definitely given him a chance because officially at the moment he's on 168, isn't he? So he's seven pounds less. Correct. He has given him a chance. Uh, we just hope that the horse, you know, is fit well on the day and, uh, and has uh, luck in running and runs to his usual style, which he, he always runs best late on in the race. You must have been delighted with his most recent efforts, Graham, because it seems as though he's as good as ever, doesn't it? He's an extraordinary horse. Uh, he's, a, he's a great horse to own, um, you know, and I've been absolutely thrilled with... Uh, with his races in the Welsh National and Irish Hennessy on Sunday. Um, you know, he's 13 years old. He's always carrying top weight. Um, but, you know, uh, what Ruby said to me, he got off him on Sunday. He said he doesn't ride like a 13-year-old. He rides like a, a much younger horse because he's mm. obviously thoroughly enjoying his training and thoroughly enjoying his racing. So, you know, good on the old boy. Yeah, and, and um, his surge up the home straight at Leperstown was, was, was tremendous on Sunday. We're just showing him... Uh, just to almost define that massive weight in the Welsh National. He was only beaten a length and a half in the end. He was, wasn't he? Yeah, and, uh, you know, he, he had to stand around at the beginning for, uh, for five or six minutes um, while they did the, the, uh, the National Anthem. Um, and then, obviously, in the race, and it's very heavy ground as well. So, you know, we, it just shows that he, he does he does like a stamina test. And uh, and that's, that's why we think that, uh, you know, maybe this might be his swan song to put him in the Grand National. He gets four and a half miles. He'll not mind whatever ground it is. Yeah. Uh, I just hope that he gets luck and running, gets over those fences, and you know if he's there or thereabouts coming to the second last, then you know he's got a bit of a, a bit of a chance. But um, you know, we'll just hope it goes goes there and comes back safe and sound. Yeah, of course you mentioned he he, he ran in the race three years ago, Graham, and he, he got unseated at the tenth that day, didn't he? Yeah, I think he. I, I'm not sure what it was that year. Maybe he just didn't quite like the the the, the, the fences, but he, he's certainly his jumping seems to have improved a lot in the last. Uh, couple of years so uh, he deserves he deserves another chance you know we hoped to run him last year but he got injured just before mm -hmm. uh, the race well actually after Lexus chase so um you know he's enjoying his uh, his, his life right now he loves being in training uh, he loves going racing so you know why not uh, let him uh, take his chance well we wish you well with him and of course it's not just him you've got in the race as well three others who are really fascinating contenders what are your thoughts about Boston Bob who's got to 11-3 and indeed on his own he's also got 11-3 to begin with um, well, if we start with Boston Bob, I mean, that's an interesting entry, um, you know, because uh, we, we had planned um, a hurdle campaign from this year, but we put him in just to see what, uh, what weight he'd get and, and, and see what happens. And, you know, he's an interesting run. It, it'll be on better ground, which he'll, 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 he'll like, because he really did hate the ground at, uh, at Cheltenham when he ran in the, uh, uh, the Cleve hurdle. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's on, a, he's on a very nice weight. So, you know, I think uh, uh, we'll just see what happens as we get nearer to the race. And, uh, I'll leave it up to Willie as to whether he actually declares him or not, but uh, yeah. it's certainly an interesting uh, uh, contender. And, um, and, of course, the Thais, this winner. We all know what happens to Thais, this winner's Graham. You know. uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, on his, yeah. well, he, he, needs, he needs a bit of luck this time, doesn't he? Because, you know, he's been there twice and he's, he's fallen twice and going well. Um, but uh, hopefully it's third time lucky with him. But he's on a nice weight because in the Thaestes he was on 11 stone 6, kind of top weight there. He's now three pound, three pounds lighter, so... You know, as I say, he'll definitely be be, uh, be going there, but we just need to keep our fingers crossed that he, he gets a clear round. Yes, he went at Beecher's first time, I think. Uh, sorry, on his first um, start, he mm. went at Beecher's second time, 22nd, and, of course, Valentine's second time, 25th last year. Well, what, what happened there was, obviously, Beecher's, he was actually going very well, and he just he just, um, he just just uh, was too steep for him when he, when he came over that. I think he, we learned uh, from that lesson. Uh, last year, Ruby said, if I'm in seventh, Coming to the second circuit, uh, I'll be in a great position. And he was he was bang on seventh going to the Melling Road second time round. But I think he clattered the second fence there, and that was it. That put him out of the race just about. Yeah. And finally, Prince de Beauchene. I mean, he's. Mm -hmm. I remember him winning there at the the meeting over the Mile May fences about three years ago. Uh, do you think he's a national type, Graham? We're not sure on that one, uh, Mike. I mean, he's he's lost a bit of form of late. Um, but you know, he's, he's he's a good age. Eleven is a nice age for the national. He's got a nice weight. Um, you know, he, he, he didn't quite get the three miles um, at the Lexus, um, so we've dropped him back to two miles four for his next couple of runs. But 
you know, we think he's we think he might just need maybe more of a of a, of a, a stamina test and and take a bit bit of his time. So, I think he'll take his chance because uh, you know we've never tried him in the national. Um, he, he's been favourite twice and never got there. So, um, I think again we'll just see what he's like near the time, and uh, I think he might he might be a runner. And what would it mean, Graham? And you've you've scaled many heights as an owner. What would it mean to you to win the Crabby's Grand National? Well, it's it's just great going there, Mike, with with good chances. You know, I mean, you can never be too confident because it is the Grand National, and uh, you know you can have a look on your side that day. But you know, it is it is the one race that everyone talks about. And when you talk to my friends, and I talk about world hurdles and 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 the like. They go, yeah, but what about the Grand National, Graham? So all my all my friends always talk about that that one race. It seems about the people's race. So it would be nice to uh, to do well in it. But uh, I'm just happy that I'm going there with with four chances and. Uh, they might have a good chance, but looking at the weights today, you know, there's a lot of horses there that have got real life chances as well. Yeah, it, absolutely. That is the race, isn't it? Mm. And Graham, four weeks today, the, the, the festival starts. Um, you've got some yeah. great horses running there. I mean, I'm, you can pick out one or two for us. Maybe Felix Younger, Briar, Briar Hill. Anything else that you'd most looking um, forward to? Uh, I'm looking forward to my bumper horses, um, yes. Shane's Hill and uh, Black Hercules. Felix, you know, it's a question of which race he goes into and. Uh, I know there's a big debate going on about whether it's the Arkle or whether it's the uh, the Jusons, but um, I think we'll just wait to see what the ground's like and what the other mm. entries are like any other time. Briar Hill, I'm excited about. Um, again, we're not sure which race he'll go in. He's entered all three. Um, but, you know, Willie knows his horses very well. He knows um, what, what shape they're in. I'm sure he'll pick the right race for whichever horse uh, is entered. And, and of those two really nice bumper horses, both unbeaten, Black, Hercules mm. and Shane's Hill, which, which one really excites you or is it difficult to choose between them Graham? It, it is very difficult Mike. Um, I think Black Hercules would prefer much softer ground than Shane's Hill. Uh, Shane's Hill does seem to have a, a good turn of speed towards the end of a race so again I think it'll, it'll be very ground dependent. If, it's, if it comes up um, fairly soft then I think Black, Black Hercules has got, a, has got a good chance but you know, Shane's Hill is running soft ground as well but we think he's a better horse and slightly better ground with a good turn of foot so um, it'll be a difficult decision for whichever jockey has to choose which one. So yeah. I'm, I'm just I, I'm just happy that I've got two with very good chances, and I'll I'll look forward to the race. And on that jockey front, uh, Graham, I've just got to ask you. T mm. Title there was ridden by Ruby again on, on the Sunday, but he, he's performed well for Daryl as well. At least you know you, you'll be reasonably well covered by whoever rides him on the big day. I think there's a few people who've ridden Title Bay, to be honest, over the years. So um, yeah. I've no, I haven't spoken to Paul nor uh, Willie yet about uh, about who'd ride him, but. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure that uh, whoever rides him will have, a, will have a great spin because he's, he's such, a, such an interesting horse to ride. An interesting riding style with his high head carriage, but yes. you know, he gets from A to B in, in his own way. At least both Daryl and Ruby, have, at, least, at least they've won the race before, which helps, I guess, Greg, doesn't it? <laughs> that, that, that does help as well, yes. Yeah. So, but, um, you know, I, as always, Mike, I, I leave the jockey um, choice to the, to, the, to the trainer. Great stuff. Well, it's been great to chat to you, Graham. Really appreciate it. Very exciting times. And... Um, we wish you Thank all the you, very Mike. best for a good spring. I appreciate that. Thanks, Mike. And uh, you know, fingers crossed that it will get there in one piece. Thanks a lot, Graham. It's uh, Graham Wiley.